So Shutter Magazine was created about four years ago and the reason for it was because in our industry, the industry of photography, or let's just say in the creative world, finding educational content is not always easy. And what I'm looking for, or was hoping for, uh, was to create a publication that gave back to the community, right? No fluff pieces, uh, just straight to the point, down and dirty, educational content. So in the early years of Shutter Magazine, it was fully digital. In the back of my mind, I believed that that's all people wanted, that you know, print was dead, uh, and that people were gonna get content when they wanted, how they wanted. And it was really interesting, about two years in, it became so clear that people wanted something tactile, something in their hands, just to touch and feel. And not only did our audience want that, I wanted that as well. I found myself printing the cover of the magazine uh, so that I could hang it on my wall. And that became really clear that we had these beautiful covers, this beautiful magazine, but it was digital and you really couldn't enjoy it. What I like about the print version, again, is that tactile uh, you know, feel. I can put that in my hands, I can sit back, drink a cup of coffee and read it. Now, you could do the same thing on your iPad. It is just not the same experience as holding something in your hand. And we are finding that our audience is responding to that. They want something uh, that's, that they can take away. In fact, we've taken it to a, a new level. The spine of the magazine uh, makes up an image. So over a 12 month window, the spine will put together a single image. And so what we're finding is, is, is our audience has become quite fanatical with the magazine uh, because they want on their bookshelf, they want to be able to look up on the bookshelf and see you know, that final image year after year because it makes up that entire volume. I truly believe in my heart that print is not dead, that print is something people want. Uh, we just have to kind of maybe re rethink how we're going to deliver that printed material. So what we've tried to do with the magazine is merge this kind of right printed material concept with multimedia, right? So our magazine articles are fully written articles by actual photographers. So what we're not doing is having a dedicated writer interview a photographer. What I'd rather do is have the story told through the eyes of the photographer. So what we've encouraged our writers to do is provide a complimentary video. And that's the experience we have. So the article, whatever it's about, is gonna hit those three, four, five bullets. And then the video comes back around and maybe shows those uh, techniques in action, right? So it really lends to the written article. And I think that in and of itself is part of the power of what Shutter Magazine has done for our industry. So we're not just creating video for the sake of video, we're creating video in a way to supplement the actual article.